cloud. Okay. Spencer, I think we're live and this is exciting. I'm excited for this call and anybody that's tuning in live or, you know, most importantly, um, these are recorded calls. The Warrior Men series, I've been most excited about today's call and recording with Spencer Westland. Uh, um, I'd like to say a young man, a man uh, younger than me and uh, somebody I've been fortunate to spend a lot of time with in a Warrior Men series, which I'm not going to get into details I'm very impressed, Spencer, with your background and your success in life and just, just amazing things that you're doing at a very young age. And, and so today, what I thought we'd do is, you know, share your story with everybody. And if you're new to these calls, by the way, this is our fourth call. We've got some um, great calls lined up for next week, too, which we're not going to announce today. But, you know, the purpose of these calls, uh, Spencer, as we've talked about before, you know, most men to Today, they're, they're struggling with their ego and their identity and their self-esteem and their, they have insecurities. And, you know, it, it's just something most men have a challenge admitting, right? Men always have a challenge asking for help. And mm -hmm. so I love the warrior classes I'm going through. These warrior calls are all about people needing other men to bring into their circle or to get to know, especially through our business. You know, we're so fortunate to have a center of influence of just amazing men like yourself. So... But starting off here today, Spencer, if you don't mind, just share your story. You and uh, your beautiful wife, Cassie, you guys live in Florida, and uh, we'd love to hear just a little bit of your story and, and the success that you're having as well. Definitely. All right. So I'm Spencer Westland. I'm 26 years old uh, from Sarasota, Florida. Um, been in the business for about five years now. Uh, we both joined around 20 years old. Um, and I just wanted to start out by saying that like, I'm no one special, um, like starting out like way before it works, um, like in high school, I was, you know, the kid that was constantly getting in trouble. Um, you know, I barely made it through high school. I was, you know, I had a bad attitude. I was always in detention, you know, always in the principal's office. Um, my teachers would always tell me like, you're not going to make it anywhere in life, like with that behavior and that attitude. Um, so it was just kind of like a wake up call. And like, you know, I could have ended up in jail if I didn't change, if I didn't make a change for the better. So, you know, I gave my, you know, life to Jesus and let him be the driver of my life instead of me trying to take control of everything and me trying to, you know, be the one to make all the decisions. And, you know, because clearly, you know, I wasn't making the right decisions and I wasn't going to get anywhere in life, you know, acting like that or, or being like that. Um, so, you know, after that, my wife and I, you know, we went to college for like a year and we both dropped out of college. We, you know, figured, you know, this wasn't for us. It wasn't something we wanted to pursue. And, you know, it just, you know, so after that, you know, we were broke living paycheck to paycheck. Um, we, we lived together. Um, and, you know, I worked three jobs before it works. I was auto body tech, um, a waiter. Uh, I was doing like all these odd jobs, landscaping, cleaning, power washing, car detailing. Like I was doing anything I can possibly do to make ends meet, to put food on the table to support her. Um, and it was tough because, you know, they were all low paying jobs and they weren't jobs where I was going to grow or get anywhere in, you know, um, and I was working like 70 hours a week. I was just, you know, drilling myself into the ground, just constantly working. I was making like $600 a week, maybe if I was lucky and that, that barely paid the bills. It just wasn't cutting it. Um, and Cassie was a receptionist, um, not making a lot of money at all. She would help me, you know, cleaning houses on the weekend. Like we were really hustling to, 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 to pay the bills. And, um, you know, so after that, um, she, she was on social media, um, and she found a girl on, um, Instagram that did it works. And when she brought, you know, that to me, I was like, I was very skeptical. I was like, I, I mean, I don't know about that. Like I was very ignorant. I had no idea what even network marketing was. I, I had no idea. So I was like, I don't, I don't know if that's, you know, the best idea. I just had no idea. Um, and she kept telling me, you know, she kept talking to me about it. And, you know, eventually she's like, you know, it's just like a small investment to get started. Like, you know, I really have nothing to lose by, you know, joining this business. So, um, so I'm like, all right, well, you know, give it, give it a shot. So she did really well, like really well, right off the bat. Like she was, she was killing it in the business. 
Um, and I was watching that and I was just like, you know, I, I want to be involved in this business too. I want to, I want to have the success as well, you know, and have more freedom of time. Um, so 10 months in, um, we were making a six figure annual income from, you know, this business. And I'm like, I want to go full force, you know, on this business with you. Like I was helping her here and there when I had time or at night, you know, just doing some things for her. But you know, I'm like, I want to just jump into this full force. So I quit all my jobs. Um, and I just went, went with it with her and it was the best decision I could have ever made. Um, so then two years, you know, after two years of being in the business, we reached the top of the company. Um, we earned $450,000 in bonuses, which was an amazing thing that I really never thought could ever be imaginable. Um, and now we're approaching, $2 million and, you know, in overall income from the last five years. And, you know, no one ever thought that we could have done that or made that amount of money. So it was just such a blessing in our lives. Um, we paid off $30,000 in debt. Um, we, we grew up in Connecticut and we didn't, we didn't really love the weather there. Um, just everything about it. So we were, we decided, Hey, let's move to Florida. Like we work from home, you know, we work on the go, we can live where we want. Um, so we moved down to Florida, we rented for like two years. Um, and then we decided, you know what, let's, we could dream, we could build our dream house now. Like we don't have to wait until we're 30 or 40 or 50 or, you know, whatever. We decided that, you know, we could build it now. So, you know, we're so blessed to be living in our dream house. Um, we've been able to help family financially. We've been able to give back. Um, and when we first started, we, you know, we joined for, for selfish reasons, like, you know, just wanted more for ourselves. But then, you know, we realized that this opportunity, we were able to bless so many other people and, you know, get so many other people into this business and show them, you know, that they could do more with their lives, especially, you know, for the men, you know, we, we can do more with our lives, um, and we can grow and learn every single day. Um. And we, we've been able to travel so much. We, we own our time. We're, you know, 24 seven, we choose what we do for the day. Um, and I just think that's such an amazing thing. Um, and before, you know, it works, we never saw each other. We we're constantly working. We didn't spend any time together. So um, it's truly been a blessing for our lives to, to, you know, end out like this. It's, it's amazing. Man, I love your story. I mean, I'm, I know there's people watching today or, you know, down the road. That's why this series is so important for other men to tune in and, and women likewise. But, you know, you guys as a couple, um, a young power couple, if you don't mind me saying that, but, you know, you, you have a lot of balance in your life. I mean, obviously we all have a history, we all have a background, you know, but it's, it's an awesome story for people to hear because most people have not achieved what you've achieved, Spencer, um, by the time they're 40 or 50 or, you know, they, they work 30, 40, 50 years, some people, and they do not achieve that level of success. So, you know, I know you're a very, you're extremely humble. I know as I've been around you guys a lot. Um, in fact, I think one of my favorite stories I'll share with everybody is when you and Cassie came over to our house. We had a mastermind, um, very powerful mastermind. And one of the things that you shared, which I, if you don't mind talking about a little bit about some of your daily activities that you and Cassie do. Um, but you shared with everybody, you said, you know what, every morning, Cassie and I, we pray together for each other and for the day. And this is something I don't think a lot of people do to really intentionally pray for the day and, and success in their life and, you know, just to, to lead a great life. And if you don't mind, share a little bit about that in your daily activity. And, and here's why, because a lot of people can achieve success. We can all go somewhere and make money, but the, the art of keeping it and protecting it has a lot to do with your daily discipline. So if you don't mind sharing a little bit about that, your daily disciplines, that would be great for everybody to hear. Definitely. I think, you know, waking up and, and starting your day out in prayer is so important because, you know, you want to give that time to God. You want to, you know, start your day, you know, right. So, um, you know, we start our day um, just by getting together. We read the Bible together. Uh, we read our devotionals and, you know, we, we pray aloud together and we pray for, you know, everything together. And I think it's so powerful to, to say those prayers together and out loud and, you know, we're uniting and we're, we're really, you know, giving everything to God and we're starting our day out right. Like I notice sometimes when, you know, we don't pray, you know, right first thing in the morning, sometimes things start happening or we, we start arguing or, you know, and she'll be like, Hey, like, 
you know why we're arguing right now, right? Because we didn't start our day in prayer. So I think if you don't start your day in prayer and you're like, oh, well, I'll just pray later. Sometimes you forget or I'll pray tonight. You know, all these things may be happening in your life while you're, while you're like, you know, why are all these things happening? Because you didn't start your day in prayer. So I think, you know, that is so helpful for us. And I think we've seen a huge uh, difference in our life since we've been doing that. And like, for me personally, like I didn't grow up religious. I didn't have a relationship with God. So, you know, once I started having a relationship with him, I feel like my life just changed like drastically. Everything got better. Um, and, you know, God wants to provide those abundant blessings in your life. And you need to like, you know, follow what he's telling you to do. And I just think it's, it, it's super powerful. It is. It is. And I love that, that you share that today and in, in your confidence and, you know, it, it's personal growth. I think that's what, you know, sometimes what we do is we have motivation. We know how to get out of bed. We get motivated to do something. But I think a lot of people, they, they struggle to maintain motivation. So when you're connected, when you're, um, you know, when you're doing the little things like praying every day or reading that book or attending the event, you know, there's some people I know that will watch this today or maybe they'll watch the recording, but people that actually listen in notes or, you know, listen intently because they want to change. And it's like my mentor, Jim Rohn, always said, you know, if you want things to change, eventually you have to change. If you want things to get better, you have to get better. And for those of you that are looking at today, let's talk about today right now, because we're kind of living through a crisis right now in the globe. But your income seldom exceeds your personal growth. One of the greatest lessons that Jim Rohn taught. And so people out there today, they want more money. They want more time and financial freedom. Exactly what you just shared, they would love to have. And so when you look at today, the global crisis uh, with the quarantines going on and the viruses, I mean, we are in a, we've been in a home-based business boom. Let's just be clear with everybody tuning in here today you know, 79 to 80 million people were going to be starting a business per Forbes. Okay, Forbes magazine in that data prior to the quarantine, prior to the virus that just hit everywhere over the last, what, six weeks? I don't even know. It's been a blur. I don't even know what day it is. We don't know what time it is. But let's talk a little bit about that because for you at, at a young age, Spencer, you and Cassie, I mean, you guys own your day. Um, you know, talk about the home-based business industry. I mean, this is your career. This is your profession. So you got quarantined and it's really not much different for you. <laughs> no, I feel like a lot from of, home. Yeah, I feel like a lot of my life has, you know, remained the same. You know, we we work from home, you know, we're constantly like hustling and it seems like, you know, this is a very unfortunate time, but you know, we've been able to continue to run our business and you know, it's it's just really amazing and it, everyone, you know, all these people are out of work and they're, you know, they're struggling financially. And I feel like, you know, we can show so many other people this opportunity, um, you know, especially the men, like th this is an opportunity. This is something that you can do from home. You know, a lot of people thought like, well, you know, is this going to last or is this, you know, is this reliable income? And yes, we're proving right now that this is reliable income. You know, there's so many people out of work that they thought that their income was so steady and now it's not, you know, and now they're struggling. They're having, they're having, you know, financial problems and, you know, and we're, you know, doing so well right now, you know, because we're showing people the opportunity and they're realizing that this is something I can do from home. You know, we can do, you know, we could do amazing things with this business. Um, and like in 2008, when the market crashed, it works went debt free. That was a huge thing where, you know, the economy crashed and, you know, real estate and all these other things happened, but it works went debt free and they were doing big things. And I think mm -hmm. us in this company now, you know, even though times are so hard, we could do big things right now in this company. Yeah. And you're exactly right. And it has a lot to do with leadership. You know, everything rises and falls in leadership. And, you know, when you look at the history of any great company, there's a few things that most people will find in common. Number one, they're good caretakers of money. They know how to get up. their debts paid off like the Pentecost family has and, and they're caretakers of money, meaning, you know, they invest properly, they do the right things over and over and over again. So, you know, people that look at this vehicle, I always tell people, I say, look, even if it's not this vehicle, find a vehicle. You, you have to find something in addition to what you're currently doing to help you get ahead, pay off those debts to maybe it's your vacation fund. Maybe it's the, let's bring my spouse home, uh, you know, from the part-time jobs, like what happened for you. 
And so these are important questions for people to ask these days. What vehicle are we in? And right now we're in a quarantine, but we're also in a home-based business boom. So it opens up the doors. I'm excited, Spencer, because there's so many people that, you know, they thought about doing something like this, and all of a sudden now they're kind of pushed into it. Like, maybe I do need to call Spencer back. Maybe I do need to call Brandy back. I, I need to take a good look at what's happening right now. So let's talk about that with this vehicle. What do you love most about It Works? And, and in particular, I do want to talk about coffee because you know, and, and you know my story, I met Mark Pentecost in 2007. At that time, it was primarily a rep company, a lot of women and a lot of reps. And it wasn't a product that I was interested in. But today, you fast forward to today, let's talk about that in, in your experience here in this new skinny brew that's been launched. Spencer, for you as a man, when you look at your business, you know, what new doors have opened and, and how are you guys crushing it with this new coffee, skinny brew? Yeah. So, I mean, co the coffee is amazing. And like, for me, I never saw myself doing this business or being involved in even sales or, you know, the health and wellness industry. I never saw myself, you know, working from home, doing any of this. And that just proves that just because you don't think you can do it or you don't, you know, I saw opportunity and that was my main thing. I saw opportunity. I saw an amazing company, an amazing culture, um, you know, starting from the top, you know, the leadership there, you know, Mark and Cindy are people that truly care, truly care about us, truly, you know, want to do amazing things. And that, that's what really got me. And I'm, I'm excited to be around all these like-minded people, um, you know, and the, the coffee is absolutely amazing. I drink it every morning that I drink it, you know, make the coffee right as I'm about to go pray. Um, you know, it speaks for itself. It's the second most consumed beverage in the world. Um, so most people drink coffee. Most people want coffee. Um, and, you know, our coffee is so much better than so many other coffees because, you know, it's fat burning, helps you lose weight amazing mental clarity and focus. It curbs cravings. Um, and it's cheaper than Starbucks. And like, even during this quarantine time, you know, people think, well, you know, maybe people aren't spending as much money or this or that, but it's not true because we're continuing, you know, we're still ordering food. There's still a large line at Starbucks. There's still people out there that are spending money. So why wouldn't they want our amazing products? And I think it's so important to be a product of the product. Continue to, you know, let these products work for you and share the, the products with other people and tell them how amazing they are. Um, so I, I just think that, you know, coffee is, is, was a big one for us. It, it's definitely life-changing for sure. Yeah, I'm a coffee guy, as you know, and, and I love, you know, what coffee can do for, you know, just natural good coffee is good for your body in moderation. Of course, I probably drink a little bit too much coffee, but, you know, I love the skinny brew because of the nootropics and nootropics are great for mental clarity. So for me, I don't, uh, caffeine doesn't affect me at all, but uh, the nootropics I notice. So there's, there's a bonus there in that coffee plan and I love it. So, you know, one of the topics we've been on this warrior call with men, Spencer, if you don't mind, I want to shift gears a little bit into a lot of people today, they get excited about change. They get excited about doing things. And, you know, what happens is they, they kind of hit a brick wall of fear. Okay. You know, they get excited, but they don't follow through, right? They get motivated, but they can't maintain their motivation. Or they go out and they talk to somebody who has never had experience in this industry and shoots it down. And they listen to the advice of somebody who has no idea what they're talking about. You know, or in some cases, they prejudge it. You know, I think what I've found in, in many years of, of this business is that most people just lack belief in themselves. You can be the best looking, strong person from the outside, but we all have weak links. You know, we all have things that we're working on and we need to repair or heal or become stronger. So let's talk about fear. How do you guys conquer fear? I mean, it's, and, and let me just kind of set the stage again, people that are joining and people that will watch this later, you know, you guys are in your mid twenties, I mean, your auto insurance just went down, you know, just to be clear, you know, <laughs> you guys have earned millions of dollars. You're debt free. You're, you're living your dream, but there had to be an element of fear. And how do you and Kate, uh, Cassie face your fears and what can we learn from you today on that? I think fear, you know, like we have to learn to give our fears to God. Like a lot of times that, you know, whatever we're dealing with or struggling with the most is something that it's almost like we're hiding from it. We're not praying about it. We're not, 
some of those things are things that we don't even pray about. We pray about completely other things that are less important. So I think it's so important to, to give it to God and, and to just overcome your fears. Like, like even for this zoom, like I'm not, I haven't gotten on a ton of these zooms and obviously, you know, there's some fear involved, right. But you got to just, you know, get uncomfortable some, you know, sometimes and get out of your comfort zone and just do it. And that's the same for the business. Like if you have a fear about the business, just do it, just get into it, give it a chance. And you know, there, there's, there's a great opportunity here. And you know, don't let fear get in the way. Um, and like, as like us as men, like we go through the motions, we continue to do the same old things over and over. And we have those, you know, bad habits and we just keep doing them. Like we have to give those bad habits to God and let, let him, you know, give us good habits and help us work through us and give us, you know, better, better habits. Um, you know, don't count yourself out in this business just because there's doubts or like you said, someone, you know, that knows nothing about this business says, well, you shouldn't do it. There was plenty of people that told us that we shouldn't do this business and that, you know, it, it won't last or this or that, but look, look what this business has done for us and done for so many other people. So, you know, God doesn't call to qualify. He qualifies the call. So, you know, you can, anyone can do this business. It's not for everybody, but it is for anybody. So, you know, there's no certain, you know, criteria, no certain age, no certain race, no nothing. Anyone can do this. Um, and like, I really do believe like you just have to surround yourself with, with better, better role models, you know, like you are the top five people that you spend the most time with. So, you know, if you're real, if you're being so negative or you're negative about your business or you're negative about this or that, you're speaking it into existence. You're never going to grow and get better. If you're just being negative all the time, you have to learn to be positive. And if you have negative influences in your life, you've got to work on getting positive influences in your life. And that's why I love this business so much because, you know, we're constantly around like-minded people, good people, people with the right values and the right morals. And that comes down from the top leadership. You know, they have the right values, the right morals. And this company as a whole is, is attracting people like that. So, you know, it, it's just, it, it's an amazing thing what this company is doing and the opportunity that, you know, the opportunity that we have. So, I, I mean, you just can't let your fears get in the way. You got to just, Go after it. I love it. No, that's amazing advice. And plus, you're also adding to it with centers of influence, you know, and surrounding yourself with the right people and good people. And, you know, I always say it's people that that you have to chase. You know, if, if, if they're chasing you, you're in the wrong group. You know, if, if, the, if you're not learning from them, you're in the wrong group. You always want to look up and, and chase those people in front of you. And I love that because I'm not afraid at my age to chase a guy like you. I want to learn from you. I want to know what you guys are doing and, you know, little things that I can pick up and apply to, to life, you know, that eventually will, will make a difference. And on the fear conversation, um, I love talking about that because I think I believe most people, that's what holds them back is some form of fear. And sometimes we have to realize, and what I talk to people a lot is that it's a greater fear of not doing something. You know, we, we can identify all the fears of what if, what if, what if we do this and what will she say and what will they say and, what if this happens? But I think the greater question is, what if you don't do something? I mean, think about it, you know, and I'm sure you and Cassie are the same, you know, with all the different age groups. But for Andy and I, we have a lot of friends and family that are hurting right now. Mm -hmm. You know, people that have lost their job, millions of people filing for unemployment. Now, here's what I, I will say. This is not the last time we're going to have a virus. I've traveled the world a few times through viruses before. And I've, I've been on the planes over flying to Asia 14, 15 hours where everybody's got a mask on except me, you know. And, and so we're going to have a virus. We're going to have more situations like this. But I think it's a wake-up call. I'd like to wrap up here today, um, Spencer, if you could share anything in the sense of urgency and the timing. Timing plays a huge role in business. Um, it plays a huge role in life. And so you look at It Works as a great example of a 20-year-old debt-free billion-dollar company um, that's positioned for massive growth. So let's talk about sense of urgency and timing. Okay. Call to action. Spencer, what do you think people need to do here today to make a big difference in their 2020? I think now is just the right time to get into a business like ours. Like we have, we, we are the best company in this industry, you know, so it's such a vital time to have a home-based business and, you know, 
do big things with this type of business because we don't, we don't know where life's going to take us, you know, and who wouldn't want the freedom of time? Like who wouldn't want to, to choose what you do for the day? Like we're not tied down to a boss. Like we have an amazing residual income. Like we're not, we're, we don't have to go into a nine to five where there's little, you know, room for growth. You know, we can grow at a, as fast as we want to grow and we can make as much money as we want to do, as we want to make. And we can help as many people as we possibly can. So I just think that, you know, we can, we have to put the faith in God and we need to continue to run with this opportunity. And, you know, so many people can really take advantage of this opportunity. You know, it, it can help so many families. It can put food on the table. And that's the most amazing thing about this business. It's not just all about us. It's about that, you know, we're not the only ones making money in the income. Everybody is making money and anyone can continue to grow and continue to make more money. So I, I just think it's, it, it's so, so important to have a business like this and, and especially in hard times like this. Yeah. It's the, you know, we, we solve two major, major problems in money. Everybody needs more. They need other streams of income and health, you know, immunity today. So there's some great products. There's some great opportunities here and, you know, Spencer, I can't thank you enough. I love these warrior calls because we get a, a different angle, a different insight from, um, I've just been fortunate to have some amazing men come on these calls in the last few weeks and, and just pour into people and share information that you never know. It's like Jim Rohn says, you never know which event's going to be yours. You know, and that's what I love about this kind of stuff because one person, you spoke to one person today and could have changed their life. And that's what it's all about. You just never know which event's going to be yours. And I think, Spencer, this was a great event for many people, not just today, but the recording and sharing. So you and Cassie have an awesome weekend. Uh, we'll see you next week on our Warrior Calls. But thank you again, Spencer. Really, really appreciate your time today. Awesome no job. Thanks a lot, Mike. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right, bye.